page so it brings you in. Oh, I just, I, this is the worst story. Oh, you'll just get a kick out of this. But about last week, I went hillbilly ham fishing. Have you heard of that? Apparently, it's the new thing. I don't know. It's on AETV. It looks real fun. But it can be very deceiving. I almost got my arm taken off. Would you believe that? Did I have fish? Yes, look at that. Ooh. He just sucked me right into that crevice under the hole. But don't worry, I'm okay. This isn't how I got all this. But, um, so I was on my way home to my trailer. And, um, I was on my unicycle. And I totally just, I must have hit like a turtle or something. I don't know. But I just, I flipped right off of it. And the unicycle hit me right there. In your belt. Yes. Oh, I it, I was the most pain I've ever felt in my whole entire life. So I, I just hope I hope the little baby is okay, little Gwendolyn. And how, um, how far along are you? Oh, um, about seven, eight. When's when your due date? Um, let's see, July fourth. Okay, yes, okay. because it's gonna be a little uh, Fourth of July baby. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so excited. Uh, but anyway. So I went to the little minute clinic. <laughs> Don't ever go there. They know nothing. Um, I think the doctor went to Belmont. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no. <laughs> he, yeah, I don't know. Um, so anyway, he didn't really tell me anything to do. Um, and then I just, I've been feeling real bad all week. And I've just had this um, real bad fever. Mm -hmm. And I've been breathing pretty heavy. And my heart is just it's just beating out of my chest okay. and oh I've been feeling real dizzy mm -hmm. um so and then I just woke up this morning and I had all these bruises and this bleeding mm -hmm. I mean obviously oh, mm -hmm. oh. so do you normally bruise easily no no I rarely ever yeah pretty nasty huh so what's like I'm a WWE fighter so so, so when do these bruises come up um, a little bit last night, but I didn't, I didn't pay much attention, and then when I woke up, they were just there. So, how long have your wounds been bleeding? Um, well, I got this one when I was skydiving, and I didn't land too well, and then I got this one when I was in a dog track race, but <laughs> that one also wasn't good. So, they just now started back bleeding. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I got them a while ago, but they just started bleeding this morning. And, and what about the bleeding on your face? I see Again, you bleeding morning. on your eyes and on your nose. Yes. Okay. So, if we could get that fixed. Okay, well, we're going to check you out and we're going to do some blood work and see what we've got going on and do an ultrasound probably to check on your baby and see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll right. send the doctor in here shortly. Okay. and I'm going to be your nurse practitioner for this afternoon. Um, how are you feeling now that we've got some IV fluids in, in you? Oh, I'm doing much better. Good. You're, are you feeling less lightheaded? Yes, I was real dizzy there for a little bit, but now that I'm laying down and got the IV, I'm doing good. Okay, awesome. I, I see that it's bleeding a little bit, <gasps> but that's okay. We'll get you taken care of. Oh, goodness. Nothing to worry about. So much blood. I mean, it gets me a little. Maybe that's why I'm so dizzy. <laughs> We got your test results back, and they did show a little bit abnormal blood work. Um, it's, it shows that your blood is taking a little bit longer to clot than we want it to, um, and this is probably why your fishing accidents aren't healing as quickly as, as you think they should. Um, your white blood cell count is also a little bit high, which means you have an infection in your blood called sepsis. You probably got this infection from the water where you were fishing, the bacteria in it. I tell you, that swamp, you never can trust them, can you? I know, you? and you've been putting your hand in there and... Yeah, and getting that fish, biting me, and oh, yeah. set me up bad, real bad. <laughs> That's okay, we will get you taken care of. Um, your ultrasound also showed that um, part of the placenta from that's giving nutrients to your baby 
has come off come off the uterine wall, which is causing a hemorrhage. <laughs> this probably happened when you fill off your unicycle. That's awful. So um, whenever you went into the minute clinic, they didn't catch that. But I told you that doctor, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> okay. So with all of these symptoms, um, you uh, this it points to a condition called DIC, which stands for disseminated intravascular coagulation. Oh. This is related to your sepsis and from your trauma, from your unicycle fall. DIC happens because of massive clotting in your blood. When your placenta came off the wall of your uterus, your body tried to clot off all the bleeding, causing it to work overtime. Now your blood does not have enough platelets to clot, so which causes your bleed, your little wounds to continue to bleed. Um, another symptom of DIC is bleeding in the eyes, nose, gums, and your IV site. That explains it! Right. Oh. So we will, um, we're going to go ahead and admit you to the hospital to monitor you and your baby and to help treat the infection in your blood and um, make sure that your baby is okay for the rest of the pregnancy. Oh, good. I can't wait for this little bundle of Joe weight. It's going to be awesome. Do you have any questions? No, I think I'm good. All right.